Hi everybody, I'm Victor Brick and welcome to October's Good Old Uncle Vic. I went to my high school 40th reunion in September. Actually, I was on the planning committee, but in reality, Stan Rappaport, the school treasurer, our class treasurer, did the majority of the work. But nonetheless, we had a great event. I went to Springbrook High School in Silver Spring, Maryland, and we had our reunion at the Argyle Country Club there in Springbrook. It was a phenomenal event, and then afterwards, I went to breakfast with some good friends and spent some time with some classmates that I barely knew at Springbrook. All in all, it was a great event. I had forgotten how many pretty girls there were at Springbrook. I met my elementary school girlfriend, and I spent more time talking with her that night than I did my entire time in elementary school. I met my eighth grade girlfriend, and I met her husband, and I had come to the conclusion there were a lot of girls at Springbrook that were in love with me, but they just didn't know it. And yes, of course, Lynn was at the reunion. Now, I'm not one of those guys that walks around wearing his old high school varsity jacket. Oh, this? Well, it is kind of cold in here, actually, and it is kind of neat, don't you think? A little bit of retro action going on? But in reality, when you go to things like a high school reunion, or when you experience something like, uh, uh, like the passing of an icon from your generation, like Steve Jobs, it really does get you to thinking. And you don't want to have any regrets, really, but you can learn from your past. And these are some of the things that I learned from my 40th high school reunion. I wish I had gotten to know more people in my class. There were 600 people or so in my class, and I realize now that I got to know very few of them. And, I, and some of them have gone on to really great careers. They're all really nice people, fascinating people. And I really wish that I had gotten to know them a little bit better when I had the chance. I really wish I had applied myself more, both in my sports and in the classroom, especially in my mother's Spanish class. I really I wish I hadn't cheated through the two years of Spanish I took with my mother. I guarantee you, I would certainly know more than el bondigas no te dije, which means meatballs, didn't I tell you? I really wish I had planned better. I missed so much of high school because I didn't plan very well, and before I knew it, things were gone or I'd missed stuff. I was going day to day and sometimes weekend to weekend, game to game, and I never really thought ahead. And I really missed out on a lot simply because I didn't manage my time. I really wish I had tried more things at Springbrook. Maybe the theater, the play, the talent show, chorus, the, uh, dance. There were so many neat things going on at Springbrook and I didn't get into too many of them because I was so focused on my own thing. Now, of course, if I had planned better, as I said earlier, I would have been able to take more advantage of these things. One of the things I learned was the older we get, the better we were. It's amazing how many of us were stars in high school when you talk to us now. And the funny thing is, except for a very few people like Damon Bernstein and Billy Harmon, nobody really remembers and nobody really cares. I wish I hadn't sweated so many of the little things in high school because like I say, nobody really remembers or cares except for Damon and Billy. But the funny thing was, boy, were they important to me back then, especially the, especially the athletics. And now, of course, I realize the most important thing was the good times I had with my friends and, of course, with my family. Basically, I wish I had enjoyed the journey more, laughed more, appreciated my time with friends more, enjoyed the little things more, smelled the roses, so to speak, like my good friend Craig Goodman wrote in my yearbook. The good thing is it's not too late. I can start right now making more of an effort to get to know all the interesting people I come in contact with on a regular basis. I can start applying myself more to everything I do. I can start planning better so that I have more time to try more interesting things like learning Spanish. And I can try to keep things in perspective and do a better job of keeping things in perspective and realizing that 40 years from now, most of these things aren't going to matter anyway, except, of course, the quality time, the great memories, and the good times with your family and with your friends. One final thought. Steve Jobs probably didn't have to say any of these things. He packed at least 10 lifetimes in his 56 years. We should all be able to say the same. Now, we hope you liked this Uncle Vic. If you did, please feel free to pass it on to a friend. 
And if you would like a text version of this Uncle Vic or for past Uncle Vicks or Fit Tips, you can visit our website at www.brickbodies.com. And we close every Uncle Vic with a thought for the day. And the thought for today is from Steve Jobs. One of his favorite sayings, something that he closed almost every presentation and keynote that he made with was, now let's go put a dent in the universe. So until we meet again, go put a dent in the universe. See you later from good old Uncle Vic.